Hi, I'm Dr. John Young with Foundational Health Center here in Largo, Florida with Tiffany Barber, who is the nurse practitioner, one of the two nurse practitioners here in Love Alex. And um, we have been doing a lot of research, a lot of reading. And one of the things over the years that has always bugged me is all of a sudden, starting in what, about the late 1990s, cholesterol everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and you got to get that cholesterol down. And all these articles, and being the so-called creationist that I am, I always get a little nervous when some scientist or pharmaceutical company says, you know, something the body's been doing for thousands of years, we're going to stop, and everything's going to be great. And we see so many patients that are on cholesterol lowering drugs and just a lot of muscle aches, a lot of early dementia, very sad to see, but if you stop the cholesterol lowering drugs, the statins, a lot of that reverses. <clears throat> but, you know, I just started going back and looking at history. You know, there weren't a whole lot of heart attacks in the 1400s, the 1800s, um, even up to about World War II here in America. Heart disease was about 1% of the population. And you're looking at most of our farmers, we're a very farm-oriented society, eating bacon, eggs, uh, Biscuits with lard or, you know, everything that was soaked in lard, it seemed. And these farmers, no heart disease. And then all of a sudden, heart disease takes off. And there's been a lot of things out there. One of the ideas that I think has really been big is that we really got into the artificial stuff. We, well, when did that start? Was that around World War II? Right. You know, you would see the, the housewives in the home saying, try Ovaltine, just add water, just add milk, right? The things that started coming in containers and boxes with the fillers. Crisco. Right. Uh, Crisco. Right. Um, makes great pie crust, though. <laughs> it does, man. <laughs> and, and so what we've learned over the years is that it's these hydrogenated oils that really seem to mess things up. But... I, I did a literature review recently, and even back in 1909, there were scientists that were concerned about looking at cholesterol, because in people that had very had no thyroid or very low functioning thyroid, they seemed to be more tendency towards having heart attacks. And they started writing articles, and since the 19 early 1900s. If you go back and look at the literature, every every year, two or three articles come out talking about cholesterol and its effect in the arteries. And here's what they discovered. That it's the LDL cholesterol that is very dangerous or very damaging to the arteries. So years ago, I was at a lecture and I heard the professor talk about this and I'm just a medical student. I said, well, doc, it sounds like we need to get rid of LDL cholesterol and then everything will be great. Well, John, do you like sex? Well, we're married and having kids and yeah. Well, if you get rid of LDL cholesterol, you make no sex hormones. So that idea of, oh, Get rid of all the LDL oh, cholesterol is crazy. But what the literature is showing is that when LDL cholesterol is oxidized, meaning heated, uh, processed, it forms crystals or spikes, or for those of you in uh, Florida, sand spurs. Ouch. Little round balls with spikes on it. And these crystals will jab into the inner lining of the arteries, crystals of cholesterol, and that's where this artery, the, the plaque lesions start. It's a damage to the inter, inner lining of the artery, coronary arteries, carotid arteries, wherever, and these spikes, that's the beginning 
uh, building up these cholesterol plaques. Well, aren't the plaques formed because of inflammation, right? That's a, it's a natural response. So something is damaged, our body sends the cytokines and that whole army to fix that damage, even if it's in just, you know, little places like our arteries. So what about the people that already have systemic inflammation, like RA or even type two diabetes? Are these people more at risk? So they, they are more at risk because the body does use cholesterol to repair. And, and so, the other thing is when you stop the production of cholesterol, then you see more dementia because you can't form the lining around the nerves in the brain, so they short circuit out. So cholesterol is important. What we've done starting around World War II is we made, you know, processed foods really became a big part of our diet. The other thing is I was at um, <clears throat> Sam's Club the other day and I had done it also at Publix, big supermarket, and I've just gone through the protein section. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the powdered proteins and the liquid proteins, uh, you know, everybody eats in sure when they're not feeling well. Um, and in all of them, they all had oils in them. Now in the little packets like Premier and Insure, there is oil in them and you can look if there's sunflower oil or olive oil, those oils are all hydrogenated because you have to, uh, uh, to prolong the shelf life of the product. In powdered proteins, they still are putting oil, but it's a powderized oil. When you powderize an oil, you turn the LDL cholesterol into spikes or sand spurs. Same thing in the liquid protein drinks. And that is why they are so damaging. And I'm, I'm telling my patients, what you're actually drinking is you're drinking basically a can of nails that are gonna just start damaging your arteries. And so, you know, I'm a plug for the home team here, you might say, <laughs> but you know, that's why the protein we've used has, has no oils in it. Now we want people to use oil because Budway cocktail, you're changing that cell membrane, but it's the fresh oil you buy. We use barleen, but there's other oils out there. Kept in the refrigerator. It does have an expiration date, not a hundred years from now. You add that to the protein, blend it, that's fine. But any of these products where they're using these oils and it's on the shelf, stay away from. The other thing is diabetics. You go to that diabetic section in the supermarket, you look at those products, 99.9% .9 of them all have maltodextrin in it. Maltodextrin is how they take an oil. They take an oil and put it in a container of maltodextrin and it turns it into a powder. That is what really is very, very damaging. Right, and so the these body. people are trying to keep their weight in check, their blood sugar in check, so they're having these <clears throat> shake replacements or the meal replacements in the shake and so everything's dried and crystallized and here they think they're doing the help and or service to their body but really they're putting in things that are damaging their arteries and because you know heart disease years ago was one percent now it's 20 percent probably even higher and, and that's why we, the diabetics have a lot of circulatory problems because you're just filling up those arteries blocking them and and so what we're kind of want people to know from just what we've been talking about is the importance of looking at products and listen, you're still going to go to some fast foods. Listen, I take my daughter to one of the fast food restaurants <laughs> to get a hamburger and some French fries every Friday after school, you know, and I have no problem with that, but it's this constant putting these things in our system day after day or almost hour after hour that is so damaging and we aren't aware. And even products that we think protein, that's great. There it's in there and it's just like you're drinking spikes and it's damaging and really causing tremendous amounts of strokes and heart disease. And <clears throat> there are, you know, and I, you can just Google this, you know, you can uh, cholesterol crystals, and heart disease and whatever, and, and read a lot of articles. And it's just been so helpful. 
there are some things that you can do um, if you do form crystals uh, there are some drugs out there that they do use uh, I'm not gonna say that what they are just because if you're doing it you need to a doctor needs to be following you but uh, there's some common very cheap things uh, pharmaceutical company may not like it but uh, there are a lot of things you can do um, but you know when you're getting products some of the stuff that we think is really good if you see an oil in there you need to run because it is you are really just saying come on heart disease stroke I'm gonna bring it up on a little bit quicker right, right. so that's the important of reading labels what you're putting into your body is really are you trying to live longer or are you trying to cause any more damage to what you're doing but that's what we're here for right to help you monitor that draw some labs and just make sure that you're on the right track as far as diet is concerned. So, Hope this was helpful for everybody. We've learned a lot studying this, and uh, we'll talk to you later.